This is the, the modern promised land, the present promised land. When we sing, oh beautiful, we sing to the depths of our soul and with the expansion of our vision to see the true beauty of love in all its ways, particularly among the people. We've learned in America to love one another. We've learned in America to create a government, a design, a way by which people can refer to what is going on at home and how we can together make it a more beautiful place. Along the way, the emissaries put out the theme of the climate of the garden, an actual lens, collective lens by which heaven could be manifest on earth. A state in which there is peace and calm. The founding fathers constructed a design which could be full of checks and balances so that tyranny would not return and so that we would expand together and adapt the flexibility of freedom, the communication, the blessing upon this promised land to set each person free. We are here to set our brothers free. And they were inspired by something higher than their own heights together that created a vision that they had to work out. It hadn't been accomplished yet, but a vision just the same as the promised land of long ago. I promise you that if we take the stance and fill our hearts with the spirit and fill our neighbors with that spirit, we can share this together and we can bring God and welcome God home into all of our lives and see what it's like to live in the garden on earth. The earth is called Eden. And even though America is the starting place for all people and all lands, a matter of fact, America has every kind of climate and uh, plant and uh, uh, landscape that you could imagine. It's all here, but it's for everyone in the world. It's for the most high. It's for us to continue to evolve to the most high together, loving one another and letting the beauty of whatever we call the heaven, the design of love, to truly manifest through and with us all.